thanks so much. Uh, I'm very excited to be joining. Um, yeah, it's uh, we've been waiting quite a while now, <laughs> um, especially with everything going on now. Uh, just want to get the visa sorted, and then I'm on my way. I've been here at the Sharks for eight years now, and after about I think after five years, I went to Japan um, for half a season, and came back, and then went back. It just it just takes your rugby to the next level. Um, I think making a move now and then just to get into a different environment um, is is great for your career and and for yourself as a person as well. Um, seeing a bit of, of the world, um, and especially this move is um, for my family as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Um, I think... I think it's at at this time it's the best decision for my career. Um, I think I've kind of hit the ceiling here, and now it's time to uh, learn some new stuff. Yeah, I think Harlequin style of rugby isn't isn't really what most of the other teams are doing. I think they still like to play with the ball, run around. Um, but where as some of the other teams they stick to the kicking game and making it slow and stuff like that. So that's probably one of the biggest things that drew me to Harlequins was the fact that they play more or less the same style of rugby that we playing on this side. Um, especially this year, uh, we started playing a bit more running rugby and stuff, uh, which I really enjoyed. Um, obviously, the physicality and Getting out of the guy line and stuff is one thing, but to mix mix it up with a few other things is also great. Yeah, well, I, me and Stefan, we stayed together for just over a year. Um, we were housemates, so I know him very well. I know Simon, Simon Carrot was here in, uh, at the Sharks as well. Um, I don't really know some of the boys personally. I know one of two, one or two of them that's leaving now. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to meet them and uh, yeah, play, play with them. Who in the squad are you looking forward to playing with? Um, I, I think uh, Joe Marler, just, <laughs> just because of the virus I saw. Um, yeah, especially uh, with Marcus, um, with him at fly off. Um, he's a very exciting player. Um, Got a lot of skill and a lot of potential. I think he's going to be, or he's already very good. Um, I think playing next to him with the space he creates, um, yeah, it makes me very excited to to get there. What guys have um, had a big influence on your career, either like players that you've trained with or coaches? Yeah, so obviously in the beginning of my uh, or at the beginning of my career at the Sharks, all the big names were still here. Um, I got to play with guys like Franz Stein and JP Peterson in the back line. Um, I think France was a big part of my career, especially in the early early stages. Um, just learning from him and seeing what he does. Um, yeah, and obviously then he started playing fly off and I started playing centre next to him, which was great, helped me quite a bit. Um, so I think, yeah, there's one or two, that's one or two, and JP as well, um, with how he plays on the field, his communication and the things he does. Um, I think those two players helped me quite a bit in my career. That meant quite a bit. Have you tried to base your game on France or is he a bit more of a kicking player than you? Uh, well, France, France can do anything. Eh? Um, <laughs> he, when, he, when he needs to kick the ball, he kicks the ball. Um, yeah, so I didn't try to base it on him, but it's I, I like the style he was playing because he can throw passes, miracle passes, and he kicks the ball a mile and he He's great on the fence and he can carry straight. So, yeah, he, he can do a bit of everything. And obviously, that's if you can do that as a centre, I think anyone would, wouldn't mind being like that. Um, another guy that we announced shortly after you was Wilco Lowe as well from the Stormers. 
what, how much do you know about him? Do you know him well? And what can the Harlequins fans expect to see from him? Uh, we can expect to see big quads. <laughs> um, but yeah, we actually know very, very well. Uh, we played S120 together. And uh, yeah, we actually came, we, we're coming a long way now. Not, not playing for the same franchise, but playing at high levels together. S120 and the Springboks we played together. Um, yeah, so very good scrummager. Um, He's a solid, solid carrier. No, he's he's a good player all round, um, and he's a big boy. So, and he likes to bry. <laughs> You're expecting a few bries then when you get over here. Yeah, no, definitely. That's the first thing I'm going to buy. <laughs>